Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the It's Already Lost Saving Your Disaster campaign. It is already, it was already lost indeed, but now we're striking back. A big fat supply raid called Heavy Sleep is upon us and we will need to blast through quite a few enemies. The team consists of uh, the bottom of the barrel, uh, shall I say. Uh, then in this case Mystic and Scimitar are going to lead this mission and Deep Six is with us as well. But unfortunately the middle section of our team is completely the bottom of the barrel. We got a Corporal, a Squaddy and a Squaddy. So let's level them I suppose. If we're doing well uh, we'll get a couple of promotions out of it. And the idea really, uh, the idea behind it is really to have a somewhat leveled roster. Generally speaking, you can do endgame missions with uh, rookies, but it requires some patience and skill. And I'm not 100% sure if the author of this campaign really would be able to pull missions off with Squaddy, so might as well give him a deeper pool of talent by essentially leveling those guys to Corporal and Sergeant ranks. Good, we landed and I should have foreseen that it is a grab and smash mission, uh, which was sort of uh, foreshadowed by really having the loss in here. As always with those grab and smash missions, we're going to you abuse the high, uh, high ground in the buildings to essentially get really, really close to the actual objectives, which start from this position onwards. And we'll try to stay hidden for now Double time. and we'll eventually start striking uh, once everybody is in position Getting it done. Good. So far, so good. Nothing irritating happened. We know that there are a few enemies, including a gatekeeper, so it's going to be an interesting mission. Quite a lot of action is what I would forecast. And a lot of kills. We, of course, want to get as many crates as possible. Given that we have really low ranking soldiers i would say anything between three or four crates is already considered to be a good result of course you can of course you could do better like there's you could get 10 plus crates but you also got to be a bit realistic Good. We're going to use our specialist to take over that flank and scimitar essentially will move all the way to there. Not yet outside. We gotta be careful. Unless here's an incredibly risky move. I think mm, nah, it's too Head risky. To Very good that I did not do uh, that move. Because it would have eventually triggered and then all hell would have broken loose. Which it is already, so don't get me wrong. Uh, those guys will have a nice little firefight. But at least the timer doesn't start. And there we go. Everybody and their mother and sister and and cousin and auntie has now finally triggered. Oh yeah, sure. Well, let's just enemy squad located. add more enemies to the fun.
Good. The losts get their turn. And eventually we'll start to just hit these guys. I think we're better off to overdrive and start picking off uh, the enemies. So let's take a look what we're dealing with, shall we? Moving over here, gotta get into melee combat eventually. We want more loss to spawn. Ah, not sure if that's the right call. The shredder is really good. I don't want to use it light heartedly. We could potentially like do something like this here. Okay, but only after we've used Predator's turn. That's affirmative. Moving up here. And let's start with showing ourselves my nice little blue screen rounds worked absolutely fantastic. Oh yeah, we got the rookies, so oh yeah, there. Eh, I forgot we got the new team, so there is not even handing over any actions from A to B. This explosion here should trigger more lost swarms. So it's the right thing to do. Even though it will lose us one crate. Eventually. Better position for the sniper. Still got her sniper rifle. That's important. And now let's start doing our mischievous deeds. There's the shredding. Ooh, we can shred the shield bearer, which would be huge. Let's start with the Andromedon though. Almost down. And now we can try to shred the shield bearer. Fantastic. The mech is doing a lot of work, although it might not look like that initially. we go about this frostbite would not make any sense I will need to forfeit uh, this side for now there's just too much action on the other side 
I will eventually leave all of them just standing here. Yeah, that chance is even worse. Okay. Good, let's set up the shield bearer. I don't want extra armor on any of them for next round. Fortunately, that was a missed shot. Bad, sometimes it happens. I think we'll just leave them here for now. This uh, thing is going to explode in a second. The Andromedon is a nice target. And this is a risky move, but one that I am willing to take. Gotta move into a decent cover. Potentially over here into full cover. All of this here would explode. We could move to here and just blade storm our way through it. Move into cover here, but there are quite a few stun lances that I would like to avoid. Here is good, but that thing would explode, so we're going to go over here. And the loss are going to be targets, at least in initially. Mystic was the one that did not have Bladestorm. I should have played that differently. Massive uh, Psionic Bomb for us. Wow. Was almost a KO. Harsh setup. And the party has just started. Fantastic. With a knowledge that uh, Mystic had Fortress, we could have just parked him here. Alright, fantastic. Good, we could heal Predator and then essentially start moving out, but we'll potentially need the Mimic Beacon. We will potentially need the Mimic Beacon. Alright, so a couple of things. We do have between the eyes, so those guys are going to die regardless. We need to kill this guy there, but before we're doing that, can we frostbite someone? No, only the lost. Well, good enough. 
Oh, let's just get rid of the losts. All right. Need a seventy three percent chance. Enemy eliminated. That one was good, though. Eliminated a lot of threats in just one go. Predator does not have run and gun. We got to deal with both of uh, these stun lancers, and we got to deal with them right now. Axe into the face. Very nice. He's burning, so at least no more melee attacks from him. And we can move over here into cover and potentially kill this guy. Enemy down. Good, solid, uh, solid promotion that he just earned himself. Blocking the ladder, which is incredibly important. Could take out a uh, freeze. Yeah, we could freeze this guy. Not sure if we want to use it for the freezing. Not sure. Okay, so... Definitely positioning ourselves into a safer position over there. We still have the Mimic Beacon that we could launch to here. Question is, what do we want to do with Mystic? We would have to reload. There is no... Yeah, there is no immediate reload in here. That's unfortunate. Could go for the play. But that could be a... That could be a backup plan. Still got this thing here going. And we do not have any more side arms. However, what we can do is we can get rid of the threat by moving here. Killing him with a between the eyes. And then eventually starting to move up and start hitting the Stun Lancer. Not a bad not a bad play. We got a bit of focus lying around but can't take that yet. Parrying and now we can launch our frost bomb. We are caught on the wrong foot, unfortunately. Good, moving over. Let's see. 
Where is a good next position? I think over here and then essentially moving up and dealing with that front line would be helpful. Let's reload. Okay. And we got a Mimic Beacon straight up down there. No, no, misclick. No, I did not confirm. Somehow my mouse is uh, messing up. Maybe I should uh, replace the batteries. All right, tough luck so far. Did not receive a single crate. Like I said, our target was uh, three to four. Okay, so far so good. That's another shot. Perfect. Just as anticipated. And now the parry will help us to prevent further damage or not. Maybe the guy is just moving through. More loss because it clearly was not enough yet. But believe it or not, we're having, we're starting to have the upper hand. Might not look like that at the moment, but it soon will. Ouch. Okay, let's do all of the clear cases, which is getting rid of the lost, a lot of lost stashers. All right, fantastic. Upstairs is cleared. We have an automatic loader. Yeah, advanced auto loader. Fantastic. Enemies down. Back in. Good. And that Can't is even win. better. Now, before we're doing anything. Let's start. That's one. Target neutralized. And that is two. Good and that is three. I want one more shot left over. Go, but I would not kill them. Could also do that, but it would not kill them. Hmm. 
Hmm, that might not be the worst idea. If we were to exchange... That could be a healing and we could charge in. Let's do that. Exchange doesn't end the turn, which is great. And that allows us to heal. Fantastic. We do not have an auto loader, I suppose. No, we don't. So I'll save it for an eventual med kit. Uh, a protocol, rather. Six percent chance to get rid of the codex, which I would absolutely love to do. Let's try that. All right. Target eliminated. Fantastic. Dead in the water here. Good to go. We hit more than one. Yes, I think I've just found the place. Well, that would hit our soldiers as well. Unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait. I just found a spot. There we go. Because that's an eventual straight up kill. What? what? Not sure why exactly that didn't work out, but we're forced to use yet another cooldown. At least Rainmaker worked out. Okay, cool. Charging in. Extra damage, that is good. Are we going to parry or just run away? I think the right course here is eventually to just run away. Two little hit points if more than a few of them decide to go for the Tempter work toast. I'm ready. Reloading and we've almost salvaged the situation. This um, Line of uh, view was wonky. I should have uh, um, yeah, considered that the line of, uh, of the preview of targets only works for normal soldiers. Of course, it didn't take into consideration that the spark doesn't take cover. Very nice. Fantastic. Okay. We're eventually going to get through that. I'm thrilled. Okay, before we're going to waste all of the ammunition. Let's give the specialist a chance to shine. Alright, 
Reloading. Good. And finally, time to deal with the Andromedon. All right, in the same vein, going to charge in and make sure that my promise still stays true. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Moving in, and let's take a couple of more aggressive positions here, and we're overwatching. Wow, what a fight so far, enjoyable, but deadly. And yet another Lost Swarm appears. That's not a problem. Oh, it's some extra XP. There we go. I think there's just a gatekeeper left, which will which will be a problem. And it's interesting how the lost swarm just spawns and then begins to move in. Even more losts are coming, but thanks to the between the eye mod, we are actually good to go. Good. Two out of four. Maybe we'll get even more. Okay, time to clean up. And who could be a better choice than the sniper? Alright, if we were to move a bit further... It'll be right over here, and I think that's uh, wanted, well, warranted, because we want to make sure that we can hit all of them. And the sidearm just deals as much damage as the sniper against these guys. Here. Or we're going to take that super aggressive move. Yeah, come on, bring it on. It's not like it could get any worse now. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Enemy destroyed. Six. Yep, that was the right move. Seven. Still going, very good. Eight. Keep him coming. Nine. Ooh, yeah. Be number ten. Not bad for a squaddy. Number eleven. Still going. Twelve. 
Holy shit. It's good. 13. And 14. <laughs> Alright, that's the equivalent of cleaning the entire snooker table and then missing the very last shot. I apologize for your untimely death. Reloading. Reloading. We're just starting to move up. Not intending to pull anything. But I want full focus, so how do I get that? Yeah, the easiest way to do that is to go up here. Not a perfect position, but a good one. I can handle that. All right, reloading, reloading. Oh yeah. Watching. Okay, cool. Got it covered. So far, so good. Time to deal with the gatekeeper. This one here would be an incredibly difficult catch and very risky. All right, we're marking those supply crates, I think. And we're going to take the safer route here. No need to completely abandon any caution and just charge in. Moving as it's very likely that the gatekeeper is somewhere back there. And we don't have the means of concealment to figure out if that's the case. Hence, solid moving forward. Taking high ground wherever necessary. And eventually positioning ourselves well. Alright, got a couple of overward shots. It's okay, we lost uh, that one. We got a few more to go, so we should be fine. Like I said, there is one more pack. Okay. Nice and easy. Let's move over. This potentially is going to trigger a pack. Not only potentially, it is very realistically triggering a pack. And not only one pack, but two. Okay, cool. Moving into the fullest of cover. Sixty-three or fifty percent. I think we're going with the sixty-three for now. Oh, Missed but marked, which is okay. Could move all the way in there. I want him to deal with the big fat eyeball for now. Stop on my rage. 
There we go. Disoriented means we're only going to see an eye beam, and if he's the only one that is physically there, and that's also the only one that is going to receive the wrath of the gatekeeper. I was about to say the wrath of the Lich King, but that is indeed a different game. Alright, can't get super close. Eh, potentially not worth it. I want to play this one safe. Starting to nicely hit the sector. Sector down to two, all right. Still can't move any closer. Oh, that's unfortunate. to do it but I potentially need to tank here so the way that we're going to go about it is move in open the door this is likely going to be nothing Nothing but a shield. Okay, so if we were to move up to here. This is the safest play. No need to expose us any further. And potentially we're going to get that sector. All right, we are. Fantastic, which will do our conditional tanking. Undo that by saying, haha, you can no longer see us. And deal with this guy. So really, line of sight is our friend. Fantastic. Okay, okay, good. I think we're out of explosives, which would be the natural answer to their rather defensive position. Do we have another explosion? We don't. Okay. Hmm. Suboptimal, but it is what it is. No We're going to take the high ground here. Can't really get uh, to the guy. So we're instead trying to brute force our way through the Archon. which work just like a charm. A protocol onto Mystic because he will need all of the support he can get. And then let's finish the Archon. Okay. I planned it a bit different, but all right. Uh, 
can't really reach him. Get over here. Would it make a lot of difference? Potentially would not. Let's make sure the Archon dies. is still a problem so is the sector will not be enough to kill him And we sort of got to stay on target here. Can't do the exchange, that would be suicidal. We got to continue what we're doing. Which is eventually attacking through here. Yeah, that's the right play. hoping it would penetrate the wall here didn't do that but we still got parry we could charge in all the way over here that would leave us exposed though so well, it's not the right play Full cover, indestructible full cover is the right play. And potentially not even that, potentially our right play is to go to here. And let the two tanks handle the rest. Looks like a bit of an odd play, but there could still be an, a gateway from the gatekeeper. They love to do that, and I want to prevent it from hitting all of us. Okay, we're still fine. We can hit our three to four. We've already hit three. Fantastic, that worked like a charm. Alright, thanks to the high uh, to the high rate, the Templar could even reflect that one. And now we gotta tank it. Yeah, that was foreseeable. Another lost swarm appears very soon.
Reloading. And let's start priming the gatekeeper. A sort of treading and really good uh, setup. All right, moving up. Try to focus on the gatekeeper this round as the threat of a gateway is real. Thanks to the complete and utter removal of all of its armor, we're good to go. And this here could be almost a kill. Fortunate. More blue screen rounds. Fantastic. The only not so fantastic part is the lost swarm, and that we do not have a real great cleanup option. Time for the specialist to shine, I would say. Well, this is a pretty hard-fought victory, if you think about it. Lots and lots of kills. And a really gritty, dirty fighting style. Eventually being forced to really fight that sector port pack and an Archon plus a shield bearer on top of it. That just made it nasty. Very nasty. There we go. We continue our parry. And eventually we'll maybe, just maybe, get one more crate. The Lost were more of a hindrance than a support in this particular mission. Normally you can use them to your advantage, but in this particular mission, we just... The positioning was off, and of course, we're just taking some extra damage. Just for the purpose of showing, yep, you can take some more damage. My f personal highlight was the squatty sniper hitting like 13 or 14 in, uh, in a row. So since my well, sniper is already like fully leveled, he uh, he will he or she will get their promotion. Might as well give some love uh, to our ranger over here. Okay, so we've dealt with the loss. That's good. Wonderful. Let's move up. And show those uh, this guy who's boss. Alright, 
This might end the mission. Does not. Yeah, so this crate is unobtainable. It's right up here-ish. But it's basically on the rooftop. Sometimes they spawn on the rooftop, which sucks because you can't get them. But we can get that crate. So I can at least keep my promise of three to four, having four kind of as the target. Okay, Ooh. what a mission. Yeah, it was on the rooftop. But we have eventually beaten everything short of one lost. Okay. in this area. Menace one five, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances. Out All there. right. This might even end the entire mission. There we go. Sixty-two enemies. <laughs> what a slog! What a slog! And there we go. That was a big mission. Four promotions. Spark uh, can get Intimidate or Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball isn't bad <coughs> if you want to uh, remove some extra um, cover. Intimidate is also not bad as it triggers quite often specifically when you're tanking. So I like both equally I would say. Let's go with Intimidate for him, because it's a passive skill, you can't really mess that one up. Long watch for the Sniper. Medical Protocol over here. And we got Blade Master, so the next the natural step is Shadow Step here. Pretty good. We've been hit harshly with 22 days of recovery. But we have also been granted quite a few supplies two superior stocks a core and quite a few corpses so not bad overall still not fully on that supply level where we would want to be so naturally we want to take the loot I still want to gain some more intel then we're going to get the loot and then we're making contact. At this rate, I'll be touring the Avenger in no time. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. There is a new facility, interesting. Good, there is the intel we were looking for. And let's get Avenger the supplies because core. really having 700 supplies is fantastic. That, that will allow us to upgrade the armor. That extra facility is nasty because the Advent Avatar project will now start ticking up faster. Yet again. Not the heavy weapon that I was looking for. We'll get started right away now. Don't want to waste any funds, so we're just going to go with experimental heavy weapons. And there we go. That's the supply line that I was looking for. Now, time to make contact. I will stay true to the original intentions, which was let's get the tactical analysis as a bonus. We don't need to go any anywhere closer to this facility. 
Wait a second. No, we got Africa. Oh yeah, okay. So we, of course we can get closer to this facility because uh, that will be an option. Yet another option for him. And the Avatar project starts again. That is nasty. That is nasty. Good, but we got supplies and intel. This intel here could be just the next contact that we need. The supplies could be the next tower that we need. So that's not bad. It's a dark VIP mission and potentially the Warlock will be on this mission. It'll happen in the next episode. But yeah, Advent is now starting to strike back and I want to make sure that they don't get too much ground. So what will happen is we're going to do this mission, we're going to back, uh, go back to a decent intel, we're going to make contact here that gives us the continent bonus, build a tower here which gives us that continent bonus, then eventually make contact to Europe uh, because this year's rapid collection is a fantastic bonus. A very good bonus uh, that will automatically give him the uh, supplies every uh, every end of the turn and then there there is an option to go into Eastern Europe I want to give him at least two or three outs uh, against the avatar project to not hand it over in a in a too problematic state this year could be one out this year is a second out we continue the examination and do some of uh, the Golden Path missions and eventually we're doing another um, operation. We had a new month so maybe there is a resistance ring operation. Right here, reduce uh, the avatar project, that's what we were looking for. Any facility lead? No. And I think what I will also do, but I'll do that off screen. Uh, no, potentially not. Potentially not. I was uh, thinking about just soloing that facility because the way that facilities work uh, is as soon as they are built, there will be an exponential buildup of uh, Avatar Pro, uh, uh, the Avatar project. If we cancel it now, uh, there is a four to six weeks period of freezing, uh, so no further Avatar project is being done. So maybe we'll, maybe I'll actually do that um, off screen, and maybe maybe after the next mission, um, and I'll do that off screen, so that we're essentially stopping the Avatar project. We would give up uh, one of our the, the the one facility lead that we do have. But at the same time, we would also stop the avatar to make um, progress. And then I could continue reducing avatar project uh, via here. So that's one line. The other one is just leaving it for him. He does have a Reaper. He can always solo it later. So that's another option that we could uh, that we could take. Eventually, you will need to um, stop it because elsewise they just continue to, uh, to build up facilities. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll just stop it. That also increases the chance that we're getting another facility lead because as long as the game knows that we do have a facility lead, it will not spawn those as as readily. So might as well do that. Um, that will for next month then also increase the chance of a facility lead in the resistance um, covert ops, uh, ops missions. And you get the gist. I, I think that's the more sophisticated line of play. For the next time, we're going to do the um, covered ops mission, not the covered ops mission, the rescue the dark VIP mission. And on the back side of it, I'll just solo the um, facility and we can uh, then hopefully finish powered armor. So that'll be our plan for the next time. Stay tuned, guys. If you enjoy the campaign, then uh, give it a like and uh, leave a comment down below. That helps the channel and uh, would make me happy. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.